everyone and welcome back to my channel listen I wanted to answer a question today I got a question and the question was um, in my inbox how do I how do I get my narcissist to see that he's a narcissist how do I get him to understand that he has emotional issues and that he needs to change first of all I want to tell you right now that he's a narcissist and narcissists don't see them as having no issues at all. So you're not going to get to see him, uh, be able to do that to him, unless he's willing to change. Most narcissists are not. They're not. And what I heard from the rest of that book of an email, which is okay, because y'all are, listen to me, y'all are more than welcome to ask me whatever question you want to ask me. I don't, I don't mind that. That's what I'm here for. Um, but the email was super long, and what I got out of, what I saw out of, was and put the comments below if this was you and you knew it was you um if you thought differently is how can i change my narcissist because i want him to change so i can stay with him because i love him because this narcissist has been good to me he's been good to my children he's been good to my family he's did this for me he's did that for me and i love him and i'm not willing to leave him so how do i get to, how do i tell him that he's a narcissist so that he'll change you're not going to change. You can't. Let me listen to me. You can't change nobody. You don't have the power. To, you have the power to change yourself. And what I'm going to encourage you to do is stop giving him so much power in your life that you're willing to accept everything that he puts you through. Because somewhere you don't believe someone else can make you happy. It is time for you to take ownership of your happiness. I usually don't get on here. Sorry, y'all. I heard something. I usually don't get on here and put our questions out. And what y'all am going to start doing is answering some of your questions. Because some of y'all's questions, I get, I get so many of the same questions that I can just answer it right here. But the truth is, it's time for you to take ownership of your happiness. You need to be happy. You need to take ownership of it. And you can't change them. He's not going to see that he needs change because, one, he's a narcissist. And narcissists don't see that they have a problem at all. They don't. They don't see that they have a problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. And what I'm getting out of the what I heard was my narcissist and I broke up because they do. He sent you through a silent treatment. And now he's come back months later. And his return... <laughs> first of all you've had to look kind of vulnerable for him to come back for him to show back up in your life you had to look kind of vulnerable because if not he wouldn't have showed up so fast okay a narcissist silent treatment is to break you down for you to accept them back and accept them how they are this is, this, this is the problem though when you accept a narcissist back he now knows you know what he is especially that you've exposed that he's a narcissist he now knows that you're willing to accept whatever he dishes out. And now you're about to meet the whole other side of your narcissist. And that's that cold-hearted side of a narcissist. They're cold-hearted anyway. See, unfortunately, what happens to us women is when we get involved with these narcissists before we realize they're a narcissist, they meet our needs on so many levels. They fill the voids so deep in us our root of rejection we think is it's being falsely falsely that 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 fear of it is being fulfilled falsely because then they turn around and they reject you even harder so actually at the end they're feeding your root of rejection they feed into your root of rejection because you attracted them because there was a, such a big void that you needed. And see, uh, see, narcissists, like I said before, if they attracted to you, you show some sort of vulnerability. You show them that they could come and play hero in your life. So, yes, what happens is for some of us um, that narcissist walked into your life and or some of y'all, your narcissist walked into your life and you got this first high. That's what it is. You know how the, the crackheads, they say the crackheads or somebody's been smoking crack or on dope. They get this first high and every high after that, they're looking for that first high. 
So what your narcissist came in and he filled your void so deeply. He loved you so hard. And even after he did what he did for you, you are fiending for him to come back and love you that hard again. And unfortunately, it's not going to happen. And I'm going to tell you one. One, because now you know he's a narcissist. If you came across this video, you didn't been across, you been, you didn't search so many videos and you know you got a narcissist. So unfortunately, you yourself know that this man has a problem. You just want him to try to give you back. You will never get that high again. It will never happen for you again. I'm here to tell you. So it is time for you to detox. And the only way that you're going to detox is get to the bottom of and understand, get to the bottom of you and understand what void is he feeling in your life. What void is he feeling in your life? That's why I tell y'all, and I'm not trying to, I am promoting my book. I'm going to tell you, I wrote this book for women just like y'all. I wrote this book out of a woman from, from the inside of me. A woman who had a narcissist and knows your pain. Not just narcissism, but knows the pain of a woman who's been through hell. And all she wants is love. But everything we're looking for is on the inside of us. And that's what narcissists do for a woman, or for a man for that matter. But for some of you women out here, he's just fulfilling that void that, that, that you've been looking for for years. And for a minute it takes you on this high. And you've been in the clouds and he took you, to, oh my God, to never, never land. And you like, God. And then when he drops you, oh my God. When he hops you up off that pedestal and you sitting up there like, what happened? Your whole heart has been crushed again. And now you back where you started from. You back where you started from. And it hurts like hell. And it hurt, I'm going to tell you now. And if you don't watch yourself be ready to hurt somebody but today is the last day you are watching this video and I am going to challenge you y'all sorry I don't know why this thing is shaking like this I'm going to challenge you to get to the bottom of what's ailing you my that's my job I'm a healing and transformation coach and my job is to help you heal help you heal so that you can become more attractive to the right type of man these toxic dysfunctional relationships there's no more listen when you finish looking at this video, I want you to go find the mirror or put the camera on your phone. Put the camera on your phone and I want you to say to yourself, this is the last relationship, the last dysfunctional relationship and toxic relationship I will allow myself to tolerate. I am better than that. And I am going to set out to heal my broken pieces. That is causing me to continue to attract these type of people in my life. Sorry, y'all sat on and broke my glasses. So I, I want you to say that to yourself because you better than that. You know what? I've been there. I know and I understand it. And it is time. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to say it again. If you would just get my book. See y'all, Woman Up, Nice Girls Finish Last was written out of a heart of a woman who walked with a narcissist. Not only walk with a narcissist, that was the only relation, narcissist relationship I had, but been in dysfunctional relationships. I know what it is to be longed and want to be, uh, to long to be loved. I know what it is to compromise my self-worth to be with a man. I know what it is. I didn't walk that thing out. I'm no longer that woman. And you two trying to get through that. Invest $12 into the book. And invest your $12 right now. Get off of here. Give up your snack. Give up the meal. Give up whatever you're doing that's going to cost you. Your dress, your pair of shoes, whatever. And invest into Woman Up Nice Girls Finish Last. And I'm going to tell y'all something else too. And I'm, This is going to come out soon too. I have a new book. And the book is called Heal on Purpose. 21 Days to Inner Healing. This book will help you heal your damaged emotions. I promise you it will because it's a journal and it's one that you keep because you have to write in it. And so is Woman Up Nice Girls Finish Last. But Woman Up Nice Girls Finish Last will thrust you into a whole nother level of your life. You will be catapulted to the next. Let me tell you something. When you finish reading this book, you're going to be a bad mama jam. I'm going to tell you you are. But you have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to do the work. And then my Heal on Purpose 21 Days of you inner healing is going to 
to help you. When that book comes out, I'm telling you that if I could give it away to everybody, but it costs, but if I, I would, I would because it's worth it. Or you can simply reach out to me reach out to me and I'm going to tell y'all again thank you YouTube you guys are amazing for the referrals that I'm getting especially for the with people who are buying my book I appreciate it if you bought my book and you've read my book comment below how it's helped you how it's helped you if this video helps you comment below kind of let me know how this video was helping you if you have more questions for me put them in the comments below or, or reach out to me on my email and let me help you let me help you walk this thing out because it's not easy it's not easy when you've been in the hands of a narcissist it's not easy but you can come about this and you can come about this strong and see yourself for who god made you and you can find happiness within yourself nobody wants to be alone and no it ain't easy but i'm here to tell you let me tell y'all something god bless me me and my husband we all we just got married not too long ago and y'all remember when I was like, my fiance, we got married, y'all. And I'm going to put some pictures up. I'll put a video up of our wedding, too. But um, we got married. And uh, we've been through some things. But until I warmed up, I wasn't going to marry him. I loved him. But all that baggage I bought from my other relationships, I bought into this relationship of 11 years. And I did not want to marry him until I took some time for myself to heal at the end of the day. I wasn't so desperate, y'all. My arms was hurting. I wasn't so desperate to get married until I healed myself. And once I healed this woman right here, once I began, then I could get married. It wasn't on nobody else's terms but mine. And you have the power to do the same. You have the power to do the same thing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You don't have to continue to be unhappy. You have the power. You have the power to change your life around in these relationships. I'm telling you, you are a strong woman. You've been through a lot. If you've been with a narcissist, honey, you've been to hell and back. If you didn't endure a silent treatment, that heart-wrenching silent treatment, oh, somebody asked me a question. I'm going to answer it on another video. I'm going to answer it here too, just in case I don't get to the video before the week is over. What do I do when he's giving me a silent treatment in my own house? Ignore him in your own house. I did it. Let me tell y'all something. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it in another video. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to put that in another video. What to do when he gives you a silent treatment and he lives with you. Oh my God. I'm going to give you one answer though. Ignore him. Ignore it. Just ignore him. I done done it, boy. I got a story to tell y'all. It was so funny. I'm going to tell y'all this story though. I'm going to tell y'all the story in another video. But the truth is, just ignore it. If he's giving you a silent treatment, ignore it. When people give you the silent treatment to pull you into them. All you got to do is ignore it. And I'm going to tell you something. Be happy, go lucky, and jump up and down like you happy. Sometimes, honey, let my husband give me a silent treatment every now and then. I'm okay with it. Maybe because I am i didn't had it so much with dealing with a narcissist. If you were a narcissist, you didn't dealt with that silent treatment a few times. Honey, give me one. I, I, that's not true. I ain't going to say that. But uh, I've learned, honey, to make good. We ain't talking. Praise the Lord. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But the truth of the matter is, I shoot. I was like, good. Ain't working my nerves. They ain't asking me when this is going to happen. He ain't wanting nothing to eat this week because he on a silent treat. But I'm telling you, I learned how to turn that thing around. And I'm going to be honest. If a person is giving you a silent treatment and they can go without talking and communicating with you, you need to think about that. If you are married, y'all may need to go to counseling. And I'm going to say it like that because, I, you know, I just don't believe in there are some things I can't say to married people. You can leave them. You can do that. I'm not going to tell you that because you made a covenant promise under God. But anyway, again, like I always say, if this video is helping you, comment below. Share this video. Share these videos with people. You don't know who you going to bless by sharing these videos. Number two, um, don't forget, take a look at my book, Woman Up, Nice Girls Finish Last. Purchase it on Kindle as well, on Kindle as well, and watch out for the new book that's coming up. Again, thank you for watching, and you have a wonderful day.